Greetings, friends. It's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and another rose collage. This one, um, a friend took the photograph of her backyard yellow rose, and I was very enamored of it. I thought it was very beautiful and um, big and yellow, and so I have drawn it here. And I'm starting with the background. I decided on a very blue background, even though the photograph shows it taken against a brown fence. But, you know, I didn't want brown. I kind of liked the play of yellow against blue. And so I chose a blue background, kind of a pale grayish blue at the top and a deeper blue at the bottom. Making variegated backgrounds is best simply because that's the way light works. It, it changes color and tone um, as it changes, it doesn't change direction, it just changes how we're looking at it, the direction we look. It's a perspective thing. So I'm tearing all the paper for the background, as you can see. But I will be cutting all the pieces for the rose because I want the lines to be very, uh, very crisp and distinct. And I went through my little file folders and pulled out a bunch of photographs I thought would work in blues and I will um, be put them back in the folder what I'm not using. Also the leaves are a very dark, dark dark green. Probably because I think this was sitting in shadow the shade of the house, perhaps. And now it's time for the leaves because they are actually part of the background. The rose will go on top of it. And this rose had a little yellow bud with an interesting pink streak through it. Um, the yellow flowers do that sometimes. They'll have a little red or pink. Sometimes the rose leaves will also show a tinge of pink or red around the outside perimeter, um, which I think is really cool. I mean, you know, we know that leaves are green. But to see, if you look at it very carefully, you see around the leaves there will be, sometimes there will be a tinge of red. So it's time for my little rosebud up here in the upper right hand corner. And I'm putting a little red instead of pink because um, as I looked at it closely, it looked rather red little streaks of red in the rose pet rose bud and not only that when i get to the outside edges of the petals of the big main rose it also has tinges of pink so finding just the right pink to put on it um, was real fun And to get these little pieces, you can see I'm using my tweezers.
I had to search through my files and find just the right uh, right colors of yellow and you can see I've got gold and red um, and orange and a white paper that had yellow polka dots on it that I'm using for the highlights on each of these petals and I think it really works I mean you can't even see that there are polka dots unless you get up close And you can see I started in the middle of the very center of the flower, but then because of the way the petals are overlapping each other, I had to jump down to the bottom outside leaves, or uh, petals, sorry, and do them first so that each succeeding petal would layer on top of the one before it. And you know, it's a matter of preference. Wherever you want to start on your collage, make it work. But I thought it would be easier to um, layer on top of old pieces rather than trying to cut pieces to fit exactly. And in the end, I did have to cut quite a few pieces to fit exactly. <laughs> Also, you see a lot of pieces that have words, text, on, on the yellow paper. And I find that it doesn't really matter. It doesn't show that much. When we stand back and we see the overall effect, the words don't really appear. <laughs> they kind of disappear. As you can see, I have sped this up by quite a bit. This actually took many hours and several days. Because I don't work on it, you know, all the time. My hands get tired. But in the end, I think I like how it turned out. I added a little extra red to um, the deepest shadows where the petals are closing in on itself and making a big um, cup. I also added a few veins in the leaves. I didn't want to overdo it, so I didn't do a lot. Sometimes it feels like um, if you if you overdo it, it takes away from your main subject matter. But there it is, all finished. Tell me what you think.
Was it successful? It is bright and cheerful. I'm not sure if I like the yellow ones better than the pink ones though. The pink roses just really um, make my heart sing. And as always, I added a few words. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. I certainly appreciate all my subscribers. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and oh, send me a message. Let me know um, if there's some subject matter that you would really like to see me do in a collage. Bye everyone. I'll see you next week.